Hi guys, this is Sadek from Gradient.com. So Google has recently rolled out the June feature drop, and in that update, the major talking point is the emoji cinematic wallpaper. But even after installing the update, many have said that they haven't got this update as of now. They haven't got this feature as, as of yet. So even if you are on the same boat, meaning you have installed the June feature drop, but you still haven't got the emoji and cinematic wallpaper, then I'll show you a few workarounds using which you could get this update onto your phone right away. So the first three are the official workaround, whereas the fourth one is an unofficial fix. The unofficial fix will surely rectify the issue. But first, let me start with the official workarounds. So in this regard, first of all, you will have to keep in mind that you will not get this update if you are on the Android 14 build. So you will have to downgrade to Android 13 stable build. For that, you could refer to my guide. I have made a guide and a video. You could use the Android Flash tool, the official tool from Google, or use the password command and do a downgrade to Android 13. Once you do a downgrade to Android 13, you will subsequently get the emoji cinematic wallpaper update in a few minutes or a few hours. Next up, you will also not get this update if you are on the Android 13 QPR beta 3 build. Again, you will have to opt out of the Android 13 QPR beta 3 build and go to the stable June feature drop. Once you are on the stable June feature drop, you will then get this update in a few hours. Before moving ahead, let me tell you in both these cases, meaning if you are doing a downgrade from Android 14 to Android 13 or if you are opting out from the Android 13 QPR beta 3 build, in both these cases, it will wipe off all the data from your phone. So your phone will undergo a factory reset and it will remove all the data if you try either the first fix or the second fix. So for both these fixes, make sure you have taken a backup beforehand or if you don't want to do so, then let's move ahead to the third fix. In the third fix, Google has recommended that you should be on the latest version of Android System Intelligence. So you could go to the Play Store and make sure to update the app. It's a system app from Google. So make sure to update the app to the latest version. Moving ahead, if you are already on the latest build and you have still not got the update, or in other words, you don't want to downgrade from Android 14, or you don't want to opt out of the Android 13 QPI Beta 3 build, or if you are on already on the June update and you haven't got this feature so in all these cases you will have to take the unofficial route in this route we will be side loading the emoji workshop apk the emoji workshop is the official app from google but it's not available on the play store we have taken from an unofficial source so please proceed ahead at your own risk first of all you will have to go to my site and from here check out this link and download the emoji workshop app from this link it's the android file host i have done the upload in, the, in this side to so download the app and then you have to update it. The app is already installed onto our phone, but as of now, it's installed an older version. So, we will have to update the app. So, download the Emoji Workshop APK from here. And once that is done, launch the Files app onto your phone. And from the Files app, just tap on Emoji Workshop. And as you could see, we are getting an update and not an install because the app is already installed onto our phone. So, just tap on Update and wait for a few seconds and the app has now installed as you could see the, in the prompt in the bottom so with this the app has now updated and now you will have to restart your phone this restart is compulsory so once you have done the update please restart your phone so let me do so right away so with this i have done the restart as well and now once that is done you will now have to force stop the wallpaper and style app it's a system app so let's force stop the app Currently, I am using the Android 14 build as you could see. The steps are applicable across all the Android 14, Android 13, QPR beta 3 as well as the June feature of Android 13. But I am doing this on Android 14. So now go to settings, apps, see all apps. Now tap on the overflow icon and check mark show system. With this, the system apps are now available. And now you have to search for the wallpaper and style apps. So let's do that. So this is the wallpaper and style apps. Go there. Tap on four stop and tap on OK. With this, we have forced off the app as well. And now, the feature should now be available onto our phone. So let's verify the same. So go to an empty region on the home screen, long press it, and then select wallpaper and style. Now, you have to tap on more wallpapers. And as you could see, we have now got the emoji workshop. So go there and tap on plus sign, and you could now make your own emoji wallpaper. By default, you will get five random emojis. So you could tap on the edit emoji and you could add up to 14 emojis. And as you could see, these are being added in the background as well. Once you have added the 14 emojis, 
you could then choose from here as well there are quite a lot of emojis all the emojis that you get across all the apps such as whatsapp gboard and all these social media apps are available here all the emojis are there so once you added the following emojis just hit the check mark and after that you could then go to the pattern section and choose from all the pattern the first is the mosaic pattern then the next one is the lotus pattern then we have the stacks then it's the sprinkle and then is the prism you could also increase and decrease the size of these emoji from the bottom as you could see likewise you could also randomize these patterns yes regarding this next go to the color section and from the color tab you could choose the desired color of the emoji as well as you could see from here the colors are being changed you could choose the desired color and if you want to a mix of all these three patterns which is the emoji patterns and colors then just tap on randomize and it will give you different colors different emojis as well as different patterns as you could see from here or you could always choose the desired pattern from here and make your own emoji so let's just make one emoji and choose a pattern such as mosaic and increase this their size somewhat and let's choose a color pink or some other colors so let me choose this one once that is done just tap on the check mark at the top right and as you could see this is the wallpaper on our lock screen and this is on the home screen you could choose it accordingly likewise just tap on the set wallpaper to set the wallpaper as your home screen or lock screen wallpaper or you could also tap on the share icon to share the wallpaper with your your friends or tap on the info and it will then show you some of the information so just tap on the set wallpaper and choose it whether the home screen or lock screen so let's just select the home screen and with this we have got the wallpaper on our home screen you could then customize it according to your choice and needs as well so guys on that note i round off this video i have linked my guide in the description you could refer to my guide and download the app and check out the rest of the workaround as well and if you have any queries do let me know in the comment section thanks a lot for watching